Today I'm going to show you how to download a font onto your Chromebook. The first suggestion I'm going to do is go to dovefont.com. I like this particular site because it has all the fonts in different categories and they're easy to search through. So let's say that we want to find a decorative font. So I'm going to click on decorative for my category. And one of the cool things about this site that I like and it's easy to na navigate with is if I put a particular word in my preview here, it's going to show me what the different fonts look like actually using the word that I type in. Okay, so I like these, uh, these little banners here. I think this is cute. So I'm going to click on download. And when I download, it's going to put it um, into my Google Drive. And for this particular lesson, I created a font folder for it to go inside and it's going to save it as a zip file. Now when I save that as a zip file, it's going to have, it'll come up down here and it'll say download complete. Um, depending on what Chromebook you're using, it may automatically just say download complete without giving you a, an option of where to put it. So I'm going to open it up and show in folder and I'll see that here's the font folder that I created and I'll see that I've got two fonts listed that I've already downloaded. So I noticed that this font has a little zipper down it. That means, or this, sorry, this file has a little zipper going down it. That means that file is still compressed. So I need to double click on it and it opens up all of my fonts for that thing. You'll notice that a font is going to be listed as either an OTF or a TTF. Those are the actual font files um, or the names of the fonts that we can get. These other things are just picture examples of what it is. So I'm going to minimize this screen. And now I'm going to go to Photopea and I come down to my type tool and you're going to find that when you first put the font onto the, the Chromebook, it's not automatically going to appear in this list. So I'm going to choose load font. And when I go to my font folder that's in my Google Drive, it should show up. Here I've got it where I can see it. There we go. And so I'm going to click on any of the TTFs. This one is the paper banner regular. This one's bold, light, black. So I'm going to click on the regular one. If I double click on it, it's going to load it into Photopea. It will ask me if I want to use this next time I use Photopea. So I can say OK and it's going to store it in cloud storage. And so now when I scroll down to my list, I can find, let's see, that one was called, what was that one called? That one was called Paper Banner. So when I come down here and I search, I can type in P-A-P, -P, and here's Paper Banner. So I click on it, and then now when I click on my screen, I can type whatever word I want. And then I can increase the font size. And now I have usable text that I've downloaded from the internet. Um, another website that I like to use is called 1001fonts.com. Again, it will allow you to put a preview word here. The only thing I don't, uh, I'm not really excited about on this one is it doesn't break it down into as many categories as the, the font does. But let's say I like this snorks regular, I can click download. I'm going to put it in my font folder. I click save. I know it's downloaded there, so now I can go back to Photopea. I can, let's click off that, go to your type tool. Remember that we have to load it. It won't automatically show up there. So I load the font. For some reason, my computer is lagging a little bit, but it should show up. And when it does show up, I'll click open and it will install it from there. Anyway, um, so my internet's going pretty slow tonight, so I'm not going to wait for the demonstration. But if you have questions, you're always welcome to email 
but you may try different fonts. Uh, sometimes when you try to download a certain font, Chrome gets a little picky.